About a year ago, you may remember that I first signed up for Delete Me, a service that claims to scour the internet for my personal information and make removal requests on my behalf. Now that I've had time to see how it works, to interact with the company and monitor my publicly available data, I wanna give you an update on what I think and suggestions on what you can do. My name is Josh, this is All Things Secured, and to make this as useful as possible, I wanna show you around my Delete Me dashboard, give you a peek at some of the reports that I've been given, and then answer five questions that I get all the time about using Delete Me. Well, let's start by taking a look at my Delete Me dashboard. This is what I see when I first log in. You're gonna see, I'm, we're gonna look at my last report in a little bit. I've got my subscription. And then as I come in, it's gonna ask me different questions based on the data that they found. So Joe Summers is actually my dad. And so I can let them know that that's my relative. And then if there's other information that comes up, maybe a misspelling of my name or something that they're not sure of, if that's my actual phone number, if it's a phone number in the past, I can tell them and let them know that. You can also look and see how many data brokers they've been searching listings that they've reviewed, and then how many of those had my info. So you can see over the past year that we've had listings reviewed um, on thousands, at this point, tens of thousands of different uh, locations on the web where what kind of data has been exposed. So whether it's my name, court records, I didn't even know there were court records out there on me, property records, address, email, and then you can see where they've had these different ones removed. And this is something that is a continual process. They're constantly removing more and more. Um, if you go in, I can look at the different reports that I've had. I'm now on my fifth report, heading on to my sixth. My data sheet, this is gonna tell you all the data and I can go in and update. Uh, you saw in the first video how I had to input all that info and if I've moved or if I wanna add more information, I can click on update and do that here. And then custom requests is interesting. If I'm online and I do find my data somewhere else where it doesn't look like they've been, uh, they've been able to find that data, I can make a request for them to remove that data, to make those requests on my behalf so that I don't have to do it because that's what I'm paying them for. This is my most recent report. It's a privacy report um, from basically this, the last Q4 here. Uh, and within this report, it's letting me know, you know, the total listings reviewed, basically everything that you've seen uh, in the dashboard that we just looked through, but now it's gonna give me the total time saved. It saved me almost a day's worth of time going through and trying to remove all of that data if I were to do so on my own, uh, as well as uh, time saved just even searching for it. So even at a conservative rate of $10 an hour, I'm, I value my time much more than that. You can see how much money this has saved me if this is important to me. So matching listings removed, again, this is all stuff that's been on the dashboard, but here's where it gets into I get to see exactly which data brokers have my data, which ones have been removed, which ones are currently being requested. And you can see they've newly added this one, advanced background checks, and they're in the process of removing my data from there. Uh, they haven't found it on identity, identitypie.com. They haven't found it on all these different places. Um, XLEC, I've never heard of that one before. Um, but you can go through and just kind of look and see what it is that they had. So Pub360 had my name, my age, and my address, and the removal is in progress. It's interesting, I was actually uh, watching somebody speak uh, at a conference the other day and I uh, Googled their name because I hadn't heard of them before. And as I did that, I looked up and guess what I found out? I found out not just how old they were, but their political affiliation based on voter records that had been pulled up. That's some scary stuff, especially as we're thinking about the you know election in the US. So these are the type of things that I wanna make sure that Delete Me removes so that if someone does you know, Google my name, that's not the stuff that they're finding. Okay, so over the past year of using Delete Me, I've gotten a lot of questions from you, from my audience about the service and what I think about different aspects of it. And I wanna answer the most common questions that I get right here. Okay, this is the number one question that I receive, and it's a legitimate question. Hey, are we trusting this particular company with too much data? What are we giving them? And let me start by saying that there is no point in this process where I am giving Delete Me my identity number, my social security number, my credit card number, uh, except to pay, but that goes through a third party provider. I am not giving them my very sensitive data. The only thing that I am giving them 
is what is already publicly available online for free to people to, for people to find. So really, it, it just kind of boggles my mind when people get on to me about the fact that, hey, you're giving Delete Me all this data. Of course I am, because it's already freely available and I want them to go find that data to get it taken down. So this really isn't a concern for me because it's not incredibly sensitive data and it is the data that is already available that I want them to take down. Can I do this myself? And the answer to the question is yes. As a matter of fact, you can go on to Delete Me's website and they will give you a full breakdown of how to make removal requests for all of these different data brokers. And that is something that if you have time or if you have an assistant that you can ask to do all of this, they can do it all on their own. But as you saw in the privacy report, it does take a lot of time. And I have tried to do this in the past. And not only is it the, the idea of searching out this data and asking for it to be removed, but it's also following up to make sure that they did remove it and then following up again to make sure that they didn't re-add it later on. So for me, that's where the value comes in is just the fact that I don't have to do it. I value my time a whole lot more than that. But if you want to go ahead and remove your data on your own, more power to you, I say go for it. Does this cover old accounts or data that Facebook has? Here's the deal is that Delete Me or any company that offers this kind of service of erasing your data online does not have access, back-end access to any of these online accounts. They, go, they can't go into Facebook and have them delete this. They can't go find accounts that are hidden and try to go delete that. All that they can do is go and uh, find the data that is publicly available, that is searchable, that is out in the open with these data brokers. So no, they're not gonna find your old MySpace page and have them take that down. That's really your responsibility. Why keep a subscription? I get that question and perhaps after one year, you wouldn't want to continue the service. That's, that's entirely up to you. But here's my challenge. My challenge to you is to just try it for one year and then Google your name and see what comes up. And if it does disappear, I would say that it's worth continuing on just to maintain that level of privacy. Um, but again, if you wanted to, you could just do it for a year and then, um, and then you know, cancel your subscription and just see how it goes. Uh, but this is something where data continues to reappear and they continue to scrape more stuff. So that's the reason why I've kept mine. Uh, this is probably my favorite question uh, because it's one I had myself. Am I receiving less spam calls and less junk mail? And the truth is, I live overseas. I live in Thailand. So in some ways, this doesn't really apply. Like I still own my home and it's being rented out. And that is the data that I'm trying to disassociate with my name out there on the, on the web. And so that's what I'm asking Delete Me to remove. Uh, same with phone numbers. These are phone numbers that I own, uh, but they are now virtual numbers. They're not ones that actually ring my phone. But that being said, I have noticed a decrease in the spam calls that I've been getting. I used to get spam calls and spam texts like all the time and that has decreased a lot. Now, I don't know how much is that is due to delete me and how much of, of that is due to just me uh, putting myself on the do not call list uh, in the United States but I am noticing a decrease there. As far as junk mail is concerned, I think we're always gonna be getting junk mail. A lot of times you'll notice on the, on the address, it says to current resident. So they don't even care what name is on there. They're just sending to that address. It's a mass mailing. So those type of things are not gonna be decreased when you're using Delete Me. If you have any other questions about the service, you can leave those in the comments below. If you wanna watch my first video of installing Delete Me, you can do that right here. Or if you wanna learn nine other ways that you can make Make yourself invisible online. Watch that video next.